if I could ask you to hold a microphone, is that... Oh, my... Are, are you oh above that these days? Please, could you hold this for me? <laughs> <laughs> I never know. Ringo, it's a pleasure to meet you. Absolute Radio, here we are. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Peace and love. Are you going to be difficult this morning? or No, I'm going to be lovely. Good. I love you. I genuinely... Oh, no, already I you love me. I do. Can I say, <laughs> one of the greatest rock drummers of all time, without a shadow of a doubt, and I, oh, think, yeah. that's, I think that's sometimes overlooked a little bit. Uh, not anymore. Not Good. since the remasters. Yeah. <laughs> were, you, were you in <laughs> there one day? Because now you can hear the drums. Were you in there one day? So I'll, I'll, I'll mix this one, lads, and you push the drums up a bit. And... I did. Good, as it yeah. should be. I snuck in. Your fills on Tomorrow Never Knows, and she said, she said... The greatest drum fills of all time. Of all time? Well, praise indeed. <laughs> you know. uh, and do you play? I play bass. Luke plays the drums. Luke's a drummer. Play. Praise indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I've been totally cheap by Ringo Starr. Yeah. Luke, our man's a drummer. Okay, uh, well, he's not interviewing me, I don't care. <laughs> all, you're Only all kidding. Thanks, Ringo. I meant that with peace and love. <laughs> Should we do the business? Uh, if you must. We must do, because okay. otherwise Sue will get very... Why are we here? We are here because you're all-star band. You're doing your first European tour in, in 15, 16 since years. Since I did those films, films you're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I, yeah. I don't know, it just sort of... I did Europe uh, in the 90s a couple of times. Yeah. And then I just sort of stayed in uh, America. Uh, why, just got, why, why, why well, I don't coming? know, most of the band was, uh, you know, lived there. Yeah. And I just found it was easier, really, because, yeah. you know, you only have to show your passport once. Yeah, exactly. That would make sense. And anyway, you... uh, we're going to do it this year because I just felt, hey, let's go. Yeah. You've got a good band as well, as always. As if I you have, have to, any uh, less. I do have a good band. Who yeah. we got? Uh, Rick Derringer. Rick, great guitar. And hang on, Sloopy. Not yesterday off the number one spot. Was yesterday a single in the States? Uh, probably. Yeah, yeah they, they yeah. released all kinds of crazy shizzle over there. I'm not on it, am I? No, you're not. It's a, it's a, it's a solo, <laughs> isn't no, it? I took no interest. So Hang On Sloopy is a great song. Yeah, it is. No, he's great. Rick is great and he's playing great. Yeah. And also we're blessed because we have Edgar Winter. Yeah. Who is like the Mr. Rock and Roll of this band. Yeah. And him and Rick had played together. So it's, you know, it's nice when the players know each other a little. Do you, you say that, do you, how much rehearsal do you have as a band or do you just meet up on the first day and go, right, these are the songs, come on lads, let's do it? Uh, no, we pick the songs mm. before we get to the rehearsal. Right, okay. And you know, the whole thing about Ringo and the All Stars is everybody has to have had a hit yeah. in the 60s, which I did, in the 70s, which I did, <laughs> in the 80s and the 90s so far. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's like, you know, I like to say in America, it's like the 1-800 number. Yeah. You know, where you, you phone up for the, on the TV and get the record of all the yeah. hits. Well, that's what it's like. How come Weight of the World wasn't a huge hit? Well... That was such a good song. Talk to somebody, brother. Oh, let's, let's, let's yeah. get that reissued yeah, yeah. And, and we'll get that in the top ten. Okay. They still do the top ten, I don't know. I don't know either. Well, which top ten would I be in? Not the enemy poll winners. You know what I mean? There used party. to be the top ten, top twenty, and, you know... There's a little blurb, okay, the top country and the top rock. Now there's like, yeah. there's so many categories. Yeah. I don't know where you'd put me. Who else have we got? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's quite difficult, it turns out. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> You're lovely. Uh, Wally Palmer. Oh. I don't know. Wally Palmer. I don't yeah. know. I don't remember well, the romantics. Well, he was the romantics. I don't remember the romantics. Well, I, I must tell you because you like music. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Pull out your romantic CD yeah. from... Way back okay. then, and I'm sure Absolute Radio could buy a copy if they don't have it. I would, yes. And listen to Wally, What About You, and his songs are, you know, the band was called The Romantics, but his songs are really rocking, so yeah. it's good. Yeah. Uh, is there anyone that you've asked to be in your all-star band, and they've not been able to do it? Yes. Are you, are you only to? because they, no, no, only because they'd set up their own tour, right, okay. and I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, so that was all, but nobody uh, just turned me down flat. Yeah. Nobody ever did. Nobody would. It's like getting well, off of Frank Sinatra or the, yeah. the Mafia or something. Oh, yeah. The, I tried Frank, but uh, he just won't return my call. <laughs> I've got something to say about Frank later on. You might be a little bit upset. I've seen it. He's passed over. Oh. He's, he's passed over a while okay. ago. Okay. Uh, Mickey Dolenz from The Monkees. Would you ever get him in? That would be awesome. No, Mickey, the Monkey. are you kidding? Get out of here. Awesome. Mickey Dolenz. Crap. <laughs> I believe they're having trouble putting the band together right now. That's why I said that, Mickey. Mickey's a good friend. You'll understand. <laughs> that would be awesome. A bit, cause you did that Pizza Hut advert with them years ago. I did years ago. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't have the pepperoni because I'm a vegetarian. Exactly. Well and done. And it drove them crazy. I'm, 
You know pepperoni is the biggest selling pizza in the world. You know, you learn things every day. Hold that in your mouth, for goodness sake. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, let's go through some of the dates. You've, you know, where usually they have a little clip-on thing. It's very not that big oh, unattractive. What have you got on your badge? I'm trying to work that out. I can't see. Oh, it's uh, stars and moons. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh. 3D again, holographic. Yeah, I love holograms. Mm, very nice. Uh, so we've got Ukraine, Russia, Sweden. We open in the Ukraine, and guess what? What? Guess who's family, and he is from Wally Palmer. He's from the Ukraine? Yeah. Really? His whole family are from the Ukraine, and he speaks the language, so he'll be doing the announcements. So you, you, you guaranteed to sell that gig out, then? We have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're big in the Ukraine. <laughs> Russia. Have you, played, have you sold out Russia? I don't know about selling out. Yeah. I just set up the tour, and then people put it together, and I turn up, and you know what? Where I come from, yeah. you're just so grateful you could play somewhere. Yeah. That it could be 2,200, you know, in the audience we play. Mm. That's how we work. Are you allowed to tell us which one of your which ones of your songs you're going to be singing? Little help. Yeah. Yellow sub. Photograph. Yeah, photograph. Back I'll put photograph in just for you. Well, listen, I was hoping to come on the 17th of June, but I'm doing a gig with a guy called Barry from Watford. He's an 84 year old man. Yeah. Any tips on, because I'd rather come and see you, if I'm honest. Any tips on sneaking out and... Oh, you won't even know you've gone. Really? No. <laughs> How old? He's 84. 84. It's a gig in Watford. I'd rather come and see the All-Star Barry, Bad come on. So I'll just blow him out. Uh, do you, you must still enjoy it. Uh, you must get a, a buzz I do. From... No, it's what I do. Yeah. You know, people say, no, you're still doing it. Yes, actually, I am, yeah. because this is what I do. Yeah. I'm still doing it with really good players you mm. know and uh, people with great songs and i get a chance with the all-stars to be down the front doing a piece of love and yeah. uh, let's go everybody and then up on the drums to play with everybody else and still enjoying the drums as well that's what i do yeah no i love the drums. your boy's not bad either is he my boy is very very good he's, he's the drummer with the who he I think is. that's i think that's so cool yeah well now he's the drummer with penguins his band oh really good you know and he's uh Opening for uh, BDI. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. Because uh, they're all mates. Because he was with Oasis for 180 gigs. Yeah. <sighs> 180. <laughs> uh, so you're looking forward to the tour. There's a new album as well, I think, that you've Well, no, that I'm, on. I've just finished a new album in LA, yep. my new CD, and uh, I'm going to mix it starting next week mm. here. And then it'll probably be out in January. Okay. I don't have a title for it yet. No, you know, no title? Did you listen to Why Not? The last album. I later. listened to some of it. Yeah, good. It was good. I enjoyed it. No, it was good. Okay. Uh, and also, I, we're finishing the seconds. I know you've got busy, David. Do you like I doing have interviews? Very, or? Well, I'm doing it because I'm, you know, yeah. I'm going on tour and I'm letting you know I'm here. Yeah. And, you know, also we'll have a record out later. Yeah. When you, you should come and do a session for us. Absolutely. Come and what do, do you mean a session. A little acoustic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's oh, going to sure. happen. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah, I'll be right there. I, I was a fucking beetle. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> When do you uh, want me? <laughs> anytime. 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 Oh, no, not anytime. Oh, I'm busy, busy anytime. <laughs> uh, very briefly, I watched a, a, a brilliant documentary about the fantastic Harry Nilsson yeah. the other day. Just what, what uh, you know, what a talented man. Yeah, it was my best friend. Too. I know, and I, it was, it was just, I'd kind of forgotten about all of the wonderful songs. Oh, incredible. But well, he, besides that, his voice. His voice was the best yeah. voice in The album of standards he did. At that time. Uh, and we, he actually came to the studio to be the Beatles because we all loved him mm. so much and we couldn't believe how great his voice was. Yeah. And his version of River Deep yeah. uh, just was so close to going over the edge yeah. of madness. It yeah. was so great. Anyway, he was a good friend and I miss him still. Yeah, a great, a great time. I just, I just saw this a couple of weeks ago and yeah. I thought this is, you know, it's fantastic. Ringo, it's lovely to meet you. And you, yeah. Uh, well, I, I wish you the very best. I don't need to wish you the luck with the tour. You're going to storm it, of course you are. Well, but, uh, we're going to do it anyway. But Well, listen, it's lovely to meet you. And, and uh, yeah, thank you very much for well, all Well, anyway, if you get out of going to Croydon, come on over and see us. I will see. If I can't do that one, I'm going to come to Bournemouth and see you in Bournemouth. Bournemouth, great. <laughs> no, great. It is great. I know. I know. <laughs> it is great. Yeah. You know, anywhere we can play. We're uh, still at it. We're still doing it. That's the deal. Ringo, it's a Anyway, pleasure. look, I've got to win this because he never will. <laughs> Oh, peace and love, everybody. Peace, peace and love, brother. Peace and love, brother. Yeah. Thank you, boss. Yep, these would be great, wouldn't they, boss? <laughs> thank you, Ringo. Uh, thank you, boss. It's an absolute ah. pleasure. Ringo, can I ask, where do you stand on signing things? Can we get two CDs signed, or is that, is that a no-no? I haven't signed because I was signing stuff and it was being yep. sold on. And if you look at eBay, there's lots of guitars I never played, but yeah, I went course. to sign scratch 
So I decided, and it's very difficult some yeah. days, that I will not sign. And that's just it. Doesn't mean Perfectly I don't happen. love you. Perfectly you understood. I knew that was always kind of your vibe, and I thought I would. Oh, you knew that was going to happen. You're still out. <laughs> this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> yeah. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I thought it rude not to. Okay. Bye. <laughs>